So you really want to have some idea of what's, what this is about. Okay, so uh, I mean, an example that I brought up to you is that, let's say you want to design something that can fly and also suck nectar from flowers. So an engineer would go about it by using the, his or her engineering knowledge, you know, physics and uh, material science and so on, like, and design the wings and stuff, and also a, like, a tube or something that could suck the nectar out of the flower. But, but of course, that's not how insects evolved. They didn't evolve in that way at all, because nature is not an engineer. Nature doesn't have, have a clue about how to design anything. Instead, they had this huge collection of living things, and they were all in uh, an environment, and a few of them developed variations that allowed them to do something that gave them a slight advantage and allowed them to proliferate more than their, their neighbors. And this little steps, a little one at a time, uh, can lead to the evolution of very incredibly complicated uh, machines like a bee or a butterfly. Um, so phage display is a little bit like trying to put that kind of idea, that kind of e evolution by natural selection in a test tube, very much simplify it. And also, and this is important, not let nature, natural selection, create the, the, the pressure on, on survival, but you, the experimenter, decides. So if you can't design a fly yourself, if you can create a system that uh, where things that happen to be like, have fly-like characteristics proliferate, then that's the thing. Even if you haven't a clue how to design a fly. Phage display is a little bit like that. It's much simpler than a fly, way simpler, <laughs> okay? But it's, it's, it's a test tube where you have a large number of things, entities competing with each other. They happen to be phage particles, that is bacterial virus particles with, with foreign proteins displayed on them, like attached to them. You have this huge biosphere of phages, so it's a really simple biosphere, and you in, uh, uh, artificially impose a selection on them to, to uh, favor those things that you want a new drug for um, arthritis or whatever. Uh, that, in, that, in a very abstract way, is what phage display is about, and many other technologies, not only phage display.